Now Ace is High really requires a joystick. There are a few people that have played it with a mouse, but it's generally much more difficult. With a joystick you have a huge advantage. Accordingly, you will also want to uh, map your controllers. When you click on Map Controllers, this configuration dialog box opens up, and at the top is a list of all of the joysticks that your operating system can find. I'm using the Logitech, Stre Logitech Extreme 3D joystick. I actually have several joysticks connected to this computer. Actually, one joystick and three Logitech Joy pads, and I can configure any one of them with its associated buttons and controls to map to any of these common functions. But I'm going to stick to the main one, the Logitech Extreme 3D. That's my main joystick. And when I move it, I can see by moving it left to right that one of these inputs is changing and I've mapped it to my aileron. I can make changes to this by playing with these controls and modifying them. I'm not going to make any changes, but you can see how it works. When I push my joystick forward and backward, I'm moving this axis right here, this one, which is mapped to my elevator. Similarly, when I twist my joystick, I'm moving this axis, which is mapped to my rudder, and my joystick has a throttle control, which I've mapped to throttle. By selecting the appropriate joystick controller and mapping the various axes to the various functions, you can make your joystick do pretty much anything you want. Your joystick also has buttons. When you press them, you can modify what a button is, is doing, and you can map it to, for example, fire secondary guns or something like that. Um, that is how you map your joystick to do different jobs. It works very powerfully, and you can get your controls to do anything you want this way. I'm now going to shrink down my clipboard, put it down here in the lower right where it's still visible but kind of out of the way, because we've completed our review of the things, general things you can do with a clipboard. You'll want to take a lot of time and explore all the different powerful things you can do with a clipboard, but those are the basics.